The Mekong River is one of the world's most polluted waterways. Every year, 220,000 tons of industrial waste are dumped into the Mekong River Delta. Rapid development and population explosion have transformed the region from a mainly rural economy to a diverse mixture of industry, transportation, agriculture, and aquaculture. At the same time, catfish farming and processing have exploded along the banks of the Mekong in the last four years. Plants able to process as much as 100 tons of fish a day have sprung up alongside factories producing products such as beer or cement. The growth has been so dramatic that even Vietnamese government health and aquaculture officials have warned farmers that their farming practices and water quality do not meet international standards. In 2009, Vietnam exported $4.5 billion worth of seafood, including catfish. In the last 35 years, the population of Vietnam has grown from approximately 35 million to a population of over 85 million. The town of Chow Duc near the Cambodian border is a good example of the effects of uncontrolled growth. Houses on stilts line the river and the city's canals. Sewage from these houses goes directly into the water. Children play in the water. People wash their clothes, their dishes, and themselves in the same water where they raise ducks and throw trash. Lumber is milled here. Salt and ice are also produced. Ships refuel and fishermen still throw their nets for small fish used for fish feed. All this sewage, wastewater, and industrial pollutants end up in the nearby catfish ponds. Vietnamese fish farmers have openly admitted that the number of fish per cubic meter exceeds both Vietnamese and American standards. Often the intake pipes that feed the fish ponds are adjacent to makeshift toilets and busy commercial boat traffic. The outflow from these ponds further pollutes the water. Feeble attempts are sometimes made to filter out debris, but that does nothing to change the chemical makeup of the water. Harvesting is labor-intensive, back-breaking work. The fish are corralled into a pen, then scooped into baskets. Workers carry the baskets to be weighed before they are loaded onto barges, whose holds are flooded with river water. On large catfish farms, sometimes it's necessary to employ motorcycle relays to transport the fish to the barges. When filled to the gunnels, the barges make their way down the Mekong to the processing plants. Hundreds of workers kill, clean, sort, freeze, and package. Catfish, which go by the names Bassa, Tra, and Panga, are raised for export to the United States, European Union, and Japan. In 2009, approximately 85 million pounds of the catfish raised in the Mekong River water landed on grocery shelves and restaurant menus in the United States. That's 14 times more than just six years ago. And less than 2% of that was inspected by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Of the tiny fraction that was tested, much of the fish contained potentially dangerous carcinogens, veterinary drugs, and salmonella, the result of unsafe farming practices and pollutants in one of the world's dirtiest rivers.